Welcome back to the Victory Education Lounge, everyone. I'm your host, Morris. And today we're diving into part six of our series on insulin resistance. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts or experiences below. Your engagement helps us reach more people with this vital information. Now let's jump into insulin resistance 101, the basics you need to know. In this video, we'll cover the essentials, explore solutions, management techniques, and prevention strategies along with their pros and cons. We'll also look at some real-life examples to help solidify our understanding. We're on a journey together, exploring the ins and outs of insulin resistance, a condition that affects millions across the globe. In this episode, we'll delve into the basics you need to know, from understanding the essentials of this condition, to unveiling effective solutions, management techniques, and prevention strategies. We'll also examine the pros and cons of each approach, and through real-life examples, we'll offer a clearer picture of how these strategies can be implemented. So, whether you're seeking to understand insulin resistance for yourself, a loved one, or simply to broaden your knowledge, you're in the right place. Buckle up as we continue this enlightening journey into the realm of insulin resistance. Now let's jump into insulin resistance 101, the basics you need to know. First, let's quickly recap what insulin resistance is. Picture this, your body is a bustling city, and insulin is the key that unlocks the doors to your cells, allowing glucose or sugar to enter and be used as energy. Now, imagine a scenario where the locks start to rust and the keys don't work as well. This is insulin resistance. The keys or insulin struggle to open the doors, or your cells, causing glucose to build up in your bloodstream. Over time, your body compensates by producing more insulin, but even this might not be enough to keep blood sugar levels in check. The result? Higher than normal blood glucose levels, a hallmark of prediabetes. If no action is taken to reverse this, the condition can worsen, progressing to type 2 diabetes. This can eventually lead to type 2 diabetes if left unchecked. Now, let's dive into solutions, management, and prevention strategies. First up, diet modification. It's a powerful tool in the battle against insulin resistance. The pros? It's a natural approach that can lead to overall health improvements. The flip side is, it requires discipline and can be challenging to maintain long-term. Let's talk about Sarah. She's a 45-year-old office worker who decided to take control of her health. She switched to a low-carb, high-fiber diet, cutting out processed foods and incorporating more whole foods into her meals. Did she face challenges? Absolutely. But she stayed the course. And the result? Within three months, her insulin sensitivity improved significantly. Her body started responding better to insulin, controlling her blood sugar levels more effectively. It was a tough journey, but she made it. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of diet modification. Next, we have regular exercise. It's no secret that staying active is a key component to a healthy lifestyle. But did you know it can also improve insulin sensitivity? That's right, regular physical activity helps your body use insulin more effectively and manage weight, which is a major plus. However, it does require a time commitment and consistency, which can be challenging for some. Let's look at a real-life example. Meet John, a 50-year-old teacher who decided to take control of his health. He began walking for 30 minutes every day. It wasn't easy at first, but he stuck with it. After six months of consistent exercise, his doctor noted a marked improvement in his insulin resistance. This change didn't happen overnight, but with time and commitment, John was able to make a significant impact on his health. John's example shows the importance of consistency in exercise. Moving on, let's discuss weight loss. Shedding excess pounds can dramatically improve insulin sensitivity and overall health. It's like hitting the reset button for your body's insulin response. Imagine your body as a machine that's been clogged up with sugar. Weight loss helps to unclog that machine, making it run more smoothly and efficiently. However, the journey to weight loss can be challenging and may require significant lifestyle changes. It's not just about cutting calories, but also about improving the quality of your nutrition and increasing physical activity. For instance, Let's look at Maria, a 38-year-old nurse. Maria lost 20 pounds through a combination of a balanced diet and regular exercise. This weight loss journey wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Her insulin resistance reversed, and she successfully dodged the bullet of developing type 2 diabetes. Maria's journey reminds us of the significant impact of weight loss on insulin sensitivity. Now let's touch on stress management. An often overlooked aspect of health stress management can indirectly improve insulin sensitivity by promoting overall well-being. The pros? 
it can lead to a healthier, more balanced lifestyle, which indirectly benefits insulin sensitivity. The cons? It may require learning new skills or adopting lifestyle changes, which can be challenging. Let's consider Tom, a 55-year-old executive. Tom found himself constantly on edge, juggling high-pressure work demands with his personal life. He decided to take control and began practicing daily meditation. Over time, Tom noticed a significant decrease in his stress levels. This reduction in stress had a ripple effect on his overall health, including an improvement in his insulin sensitivity. Tom's experience highlights the indirect benefits of stress management on insulin sensitivity. Remember, every step taken towards a healthier lifestyle is a step away from insulin resistance. Next on our list is adequate sleep. A good night's sleep is like a magic potion for your body. It rejuvenates you, keeps your mind sharp, and, crucially, can improve your insulin sensitivity. The flip side? It may demand some lifestyle tweaks to secure those desired 7 to 8 hours of sleep. Consider the case of Lisa, a 40-year-old shift worker. Juggling erratic work hours, Lisa found it challenging to maintain a consistent sleep schedule. Recognizing the impact of sleep deprivation on her health, and more specifically her insulin resistance, she decided to make a change. She negotiated her shifts, ensuring she could get a solid 7 to 8 hours of sleep consistently. Within weeks, Lisa noticed a significant improvement in her overall well-being and, importantly, her insulin resistance. Lisa's story underscores the necessity of consistent, quality sleep, so don't underestimate the power of a good night's rest. It might just be the secret weapon in your fight against insulin resistance. Let's look at intermittent fasting. This strategy involves alternating periods of eating and fasting. The most common method is the 16 8 method, where you fast for 16 hours and eat during an 8-hour window. The benefits? It can boost insulin sensitivity and aid in weight loss, but it's not for everyone. Pregnant women, people with certain health conditions, and those prone to disordered eating should steer clear. Plus, it requires careful planning to ensure balanced nutrition during eating periods. Consider the case of Mike, a 42-year-old salesman. Mike adopted a 16 8 intermittent fasting schedule. He found the first few days challenging but soon adapted to his new routine. Over time, he not only lost weight, but his insulin sensitivity improved as well. Mike's case illustrates the potential benefits of intermittent fasting. But remember, it's crucial to consult a healthcare professional before making major changes to your diet or lifestyle. Finally, we'll cover supplements and medication. Supplements can be a beneficial addition to a healthy lifestyle to support insulin sensitivity. They're not magic bullets but when combined with diet and exercise, they can provide an extra boost in managing insulin resistance. The pros of using supplements are that they can enhance the positive effects of other lifestyle changes you're making. However, they're not a standalone solution. They may also have side effects or interactions, particularly if you're taking other medications. Let's look at a real-life example. Meet Janet a 60-year-old retiree. Janet started taking berberine supplements under her doctor's supervision, along with making changes to her diet. She found that the combination of these adjustments improved her insulin resistance, proving that supplements can be a valuable part of a comprehensive approach. Next, we move on to medication. Medication can be a highly effective tool in managing insulin resistance. It's often used when lifestyle changes alone aren't enough to bring blood sugar levels under control. The pros here are clear. Medication can provide substantial relief from the symptoms of insulin resistance and help prevent progression to type 2 diabetes. However, it's important to remember that medication may have side effects. Additionally, it doesn't address the underlying lifestyle factors contributing to insulin resistance. Consider Robert, a 58-year-old accountant. Robert was prescribed metformin to manage his blood sugar levels. While the medication helped, Robert realized that he also needed to make dietary changes for the best results. His story underscores the point that medication can be vital, but it's most effective when paired with other lifestyle modifications. In conclusion, supplements and medication can both be useful tools in the management of insulin resistance. However, they are most effective when used as a part of a comprehensive approach that includes diet, exercise, and other lifestyle changes. Janet and Robert's stories emphasize the importance of a comprehensive approach that may include supplements or medication under professional supervision. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Insulin Resistance 101. I hope you found this information helpful. Remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Your experiences could help others on their health journey. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll delve deeper into specific dietary strategies for managing insulin resistance. The information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended as medical advice or to replace consultation with a qualified healthcare professional. Always consult your doctor before making any changes to your diet, exercise routine, or starting any new health regimen.